sports and everything else like that. Yes, I'm a dad, but techie at heart. Paula, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Want to thank you for taking the time out tonight. Um, I know this is the first time you and I are speaking, but um, you have a relative that is very close with, you know, that I'm very close with, and I do a weekly baseball podcast, and that's with Todd Vandenberg and Lee Val. So, Paula, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. No problem. Paula, I, I before we get into um, Ultimate Ears, or maybe we, we start at Ultimate Ears, um, some great products. Um, I mean, right now, am I wearing Ultimate Ears? No, I'm wearing some the Apple Beats, but I also Shame on you. Ultimate, Shame on you. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I use the Ultimate Ears. <laughs> earbuds when I travel on the train every day because I commute from Long Island to New York and it's about eh, about an 80 minute commute and um, that's where I use your products so okay, you just redeemed yourself yeah. then <laughs> yes they make so, awesome products I do have my um, in-ear monitors on the way to my house actually they'll be here Monday yeah oh wonderful wonderful so tell us you were at CES um, you were working at CES on, on behalf of Ultimate Ears. Tell us about some of the, the, you know, the new technology or some of the great products that really amazed you last week while you were there. Actually, I didn't have to work. I went there more for, um, more to just kind of visit CES. Um, really? I didn't have nice. to work. But yeah, no. It was nice. It was an end-of-year uh, trip that we got to go on out there. So we got to visit CES. I was only there for about a few hours, maybe three, four hours. Um, it was a CES. It was my second time there, and I will say it was just completely overwhelming. Have you ever been? I've never been, but I would like within, you know, the next two years to at least pop up out there because um, by heart I'm a technologist, but, and I go to the local shows here, but they're, no, they, they, they're nowhere near do they match the capacity of what goes on in Las Vegas. Yes, you have no idea. Um, To go there, it's spread out over the Venetian Hotel, and you can commute. They have tour buses to take you over to the convention center. And uh, like I said, I was only there for about four hours, which an hour of it I spent at the Logitech Ultimate Ears room, um, which they had some really cool stuff uh, uh, up and coming. Um, But otherwise, you just – you, you need days. If you're going to go to CES, you literally need days, <laughs> days to make it through everything. It's overwhelming is the only word that comes to mind. Um, a lot of technology stuff, there was a lot of stuff focused around fitness, um, health and wellness, which uh, I guess kind of follows your your last guest you were just talking to. Um, a lot of things yes. were around fitness and health. Um, a lot of things um, – like the watches that track your steps and now and now they're putting things on your pets as well so you can kind of like GPS is for pets track where your pets are <laughs> you know you're tracking your pet steps so it was just a lot of mind-blowing products um, it's quite an experience to be there um, it was a great time but like I said I, I had a very short amount of time there so I didn't get to really get the full experience unfortunately did you see the car that looked like a drone I, I, I'm hearing so much from like yeah. The Verge and Recode and uh, right. a lot of the other technology websites. Did you get to to see something like that? No, I know exactly what you're talking about. And we went searching for that and couldn't make it to it. Um, that section of the floor was absolutely packed. Like we saw, like in the area it would have been, but you couldn't even make it to it. It was packed in that section. Um, drones. There was a lot, a lot of things around there. Um, no, we couldn't even make it there, unfortunately. That's good. So was it, I mean, I, I'm guessing that in, in previous years, it's the, you know, the Google, the Microsoft, the the Apple of the world. But, you know, they have their own showcases. So it's it's uh, is it mainly like a lot of startup companies and a lot of new products that we haven't heard of? I mean, I know the virtual reality is going to be the thing to be for 2016. That's going to be like, you know, the holiday gift 
and and, and I'm I'm gonna yeah. go back and replay this part this this segment, um, you know, eleven months from now because I'm sure that's that's all I'm hearing about virtual reality. Do, did you see any of you know any of technology like that? I mean, there was a lot of stuff definitely around home automation and robotics. Um, a lot of companies there, it was uh, foreign companies because we would go to talk okay. to the people and you really couldn't even quite understand the people working the booth, some of them, what they were saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, it, there was a lot around, or a lot around that, um, like you said, yeah, a lot around robotics and technology, home automation things things that you're just kind of mind blown with, like, really, is that what's coming next? So there was a lot around right. that. So, so what's new with ultimate ears? Uh, we have, well, we entered the home automation department as well. U- ultimate ears and Logitech, they married up seven years ago. So um, Logitech's keyboard and mice company. Um, we came okay. out with recently, we, just a couple months ago, we came out with a new circle camp called Logi Circle. It's a home automation okay. camera. It helps keep you connected. It brings your home to your phone. So you put the Logi Circle app on your phone, and you have two-way talk. Um, you can see what's going on in your house from your smartphone. Carry on a conversation with somebody as well at the same time. Um, you know, that way you're not missing out on any moments at home. So that was one of their newest Perfect. products out. Of course, we have the UE Boom as well, which is our Bluetooth speaker line, which is doing an amazing job since it came out two and a half years ago. Uh, we have some new color speakers coming out as well. Our speakers are waterproof, uh, so they showcase some new colors coming out. And we have something else I'd love to tell you about, but uh, it's a secret. So <laughs> we got to wait. <laughs> Logitech is coming out, with a new, <laughs> coming out with a new product. I can't wait till it's on the store shelves. It is coming out in around April or May. Is it so. going to be something that's mind blowing? Uh, it's something very cool. I, I will say I was mind blown watching it. I was like, wow, and I'm I, I am super excited for it. Um, I'll say for Android phone users, I think I could say that we're going to be pretty excited. That's coming up next. Oh, nice, very nice, very nice. So mm-hmm. when it does come out, Paula, I definitely want you to come back on the show to. Showcase it, to talk about it because uh, it sounds like it's under, you know, it's still in within R and D, like research and development. It's still, yes, you know, fine tuning it right now. Yep, ex- exactly. Okay, okay. So with that, I'm going to, um, you know, I, I, I guess we're gonna bring this to a close, but I want to say, best ways to get in contact with your company. Um, Ultimate Ears, because like I said, great website, great products. Um, is it just Ultimate Ears on, on the Twitter site and Facebook and, and just the, the standard website? Yeah, ultimateears.com. Um, you could also follow them on Facebook, uh, Instagram as well, um, logitech.com as well, their website too. You could follow them on their uh, Facebook and uh, uh, Instagram as well. So, Paula, one one last thing is um, just so uh, the people listening to the podcast know. So, were was Ultimate Ears acquired by Logitech, or are you guys just merged, or are you just partnering up? They just married up seven years ago. So, Ultimate okay. Ears uh, they make in ear monitors for touring musicians, and they've been doing that um, for many years now since uh, ninety five. Um, so 80% of touring musicians wear our in-ear ear monitors. Logitech's been around for 31 years. Um, yes. So the two companies just kind of merged together. Logitech was all about making the uh, you know, we're in the peripherals, uh, awesome quality webcams, uh, keyboard mice, and Ultimate Ears was all about the sound, the music. So the two companies married up together. Um, it's kind of merged together. They do like to keep it separated. They have their own products under their own names, but um, okay. ultimately okay. they are one company. And you'll you'll smile because um, I'm going to send Todd a picture of my wireless keyboard and mouse, and they're both Logitech. So very good. Okay, you, you did redeem yourself then. <laughs> there you go. You know, I mean, oh my goodness. But I I, I will say this much. 
two great products. Um, just one last thing I'm, I, I want to mention. The Ultimate Ear Earbuds. Tell me, I mean, and, and I'm not sure if you can or you can't, and my phone is ringing as it rings every week on this show. Someone's calling to find out something. Okay, that's not the way to call. You got to call the show. Okay, so my, my question for you is the the um, self-molding earbuds, or am I seeing this right? The earbuds that you can mold the them custom? to. Yes, the custom. So, so tell me, tell me a little bit. Yeah, the custom. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, that's what I have come into my home. You actually go to that. That's what eighty percent of touring musicians wear: is the custom in-ear monitors when they're on stage. Um, so that what you do is you actually go to an audiologist. They pump like a silicone into your ear to take a molding of your ear. From there, our ear monitors are made out in a factory out in California. Uh, so they take the molding of your ear, and it's literally one person just kind of does their piece, passes it to the next person who kind of forms it around the, the shape. They dip it into it. I, I'm going to end up saying it wrong. I'm not going to do them any justice right now. I wanted to say like a silicone dipping. They kind of mold it. Um, they they take take the imprint of your inner in ear, um, and they just pass it to the next person, to the next person that's who puts the uh, the drivers in it, who puts the face plate on it, uh, who puts you know, and it just gets passed around from person to person. Um, but that's uh, they're made out in California, which is pretty awesome. Made right here in the USA, and uh, they are awesome for sound quality. Through those is absolutely amazing. So I'm super stoked to get mine in the mail this week. Awesome, awesome. I, Paul, I want to give you a round of applause. I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for I know thank some of so these questions were a little. Me. Oh no, you're welcome. I know some of these questions were a little impromptu. Thank you for being a, a good sport and answering the, the questions. And definitely, when Logitech drops their new product, I definitely want to have you come back on, you know, during that March or April time frame to talk about it. Absolutely. I'd love to come back. And when you get to CES, you better bring some good walking shoes. <laughs> you do a lot of oh, walking out there, I, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Paula, thanks, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Right. Have a good night. You're welcome. You, too. Bye-bye. And that was Paula from Ultimate Ears who joined us to talk a little CS, um, Ultimate Ears, Logitech. We talked about drones. We talked about audiologists. You name it. 